What is up, like fam? It is David, your spiritual awakening coach, here to help you through your spiritual awakening. Empaths, ascension symptoms, let's talk about it. So ascension symptoms are those intense symptoms that we all feel as we go through the ascension process. But if you are an empath, you are really going to feel those ascension symptoms on a much more palpable and intense level than non-empaths. Now, that's not to uh, discount what non-empaths feel as they go through the ascension process. It's just that as an empath, your ascension symptoms are kicked up a notch. <laughs> so the ascension process is dropping heavier, denser energy that is keeping us from ascending. Gee, Dave, that sounds pretty nebulous and esoteric. Got any real world tangible examples of denser energy that no longer serves? I sure do. <laughs> How about that toxic relationship that you keep around just to soothe your abandonment trauma, but you don't actually love the person? Or how about dropping that validation-seeking trauma that causes you to initiate relationships from a disempowered state, which just makes you trauma bond to that new person? Or what about dropping that denser, heavier belief that you're not worthy of love, abundance, and happiness? Uh, that you're damaged goods somehow. You can't ascend into higher consciousness carrying these falsities. Why? Because all of those beliefs are in alignment with fear. Fear is the opposite frequency of expansion. Said a little bit differently so that it hits different. The ascension process is a lightening of our denser aspects which no longer serve our authentic, true essence. Our authentic true essence is source. What is source? Perfect, whole, and complete. What does this mean? It means that that denser aspect of ourself is really the false self. The false self is an identity comprised by the ego for the purposes of survival. So if you are an empath, your ego may have sold you the identity that you need to hide from the big, bad, scary world. You need to be introverted to survive. Your ego may have sold you the identity that your energy is too scary and uncontrollable. You better dull down those senses, numb those senses if you want to survive. Your ego may have sold you the story that you are forever cursed to attract narcissists. <laughs> or that in order to survive, you need to continue believing in that archaic, dogmatic, fear-based religion that pays lip service to love, but actually practices fear and divisiveness. So if you are an empath... And you are experiencing overwhelming, intense ascension symptoms. That is the universe telling you that now is the time to drop all of that nonsense so that you can ascend into becoming a super empath. Now, if you are liking the video so far, please smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And if you know of an empath that is going through those tough ascension symptoms and needs some empowerment, please share this video with them. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. The ascension process is stepping into higher states of consciousness. You cannot reach higher states of consciousness holding the fear frequency. Fear is that denser energy that we discussed earlier. It's a restricted, closed off frequency that is keeping you from expanding. Now, what would you be holding on to that is in alignment with fear? I'll take what is unhealed trauma for 500, Alex. <laughs> Yes, if you are an empath and you are feeling those intense, overwhelming ascension symptoms, it means you've reached that point on your timeline where now is the time to heal that unhealed trauma and become a super empath. Why would that be? Well, frankly, the world needs more super empaths. We need more super empaths to help raise the collective consciousness, help raise the collective consciousness out of that fear-based 3D frequency to spread light, to hold that 5D consciousness frequency. But you may be too scared to express and use those empathic gifts because those empathic gifts may be shackled to unhealed trauma. Remember, you chose those empathetic gifts, gifts, not curse, gifts, before you decided to incarnate because you knew that those empathetic gifts and abilities would be integral to fulfilling your life mission. But if you are an unhealed empath, then you may be too scared to express or use those empathetic gifts that you purposely chose. Now, why would this be? Because fear is the barrier to expression. And since unhealed trauma is in alignment with fear, 
it is probably unhealed trauma that is keeping you from blessing the rest of the world with your empathetic gifts because you're too scared to express them. So empaths, stop robbing the world of the blessing of basking in your empathetic gifts and heal that trauma to become the super empath so that you can fearlessly express those empathetic gifts that we all need from you. <laughs> you know, the Ascension symptoms are not there by accident. They didn't show up to punish you. They showed up to up level you into becoming a super empath, but you've got to be fearless enough to face what is keeping you from becoming a super empath. You didn't decide to incarnate as an empath for no reason. So you have to trust that you are strong enough to face that unhealed trauma so that you can become a super empath. Because I can assure you, uh, being a super empath is a much better way to live. Facts. <laughs> I love you guys. Namaste.